All right, everyone, so here we are in the Supernote desktop app, and what I wanted to show you here, which I think is really important, is this is the final version of the desktop app that was released. Uh, if you go in, you will see that you are on the final version. That version is 2.0.17. Make sure that um, you are upgraded to that to be able to see all of the things that are happening in this video. I've shown in another video, and I'll drop that card here, that you can go into the native file explorer and view notes just with or without the desktop app open. It'll automatically use that to open those types of note files. Uh, but one thing that's really important here is I want to walk you through how you can actually use this as a tool between syncing to organize your file. Those of you who are Obsidian users may find some of this familiar, and I think that may be where the Supernote is headed with their sync functionality. For example, if I right-click here, I can say Open File Path. And when I do that, it's going to open in Windows Explorer the file path. Now, this is where I showed you kind of how you could view the notes natively. But what's really cool now that they've got the desktop app working as intended is not only can you see those files, open those files, but you can go ahead and organize those files in Windows Explorer, and that will carry through in both the Supernote Cloud, the Supernote devices, and the mobile app. So it, it really is a seamless experience. Let's go ahead and open this up. And I wanted to use my social media account because I had a file that I wanted to be able to deal with. And so we'll go here. Originally I had, I wanted all my live files here. Well, the only place I go live is YouTube. So it didn't really make sense to have those files here anymore. So what I'm going to do is I am going to cut this. I'm going to go back to social media. I'm going to go to YouTube, live streams, and I'm going to paste that right in. Okay. And then for here, I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to say... Supernote three years later. Now I'll probably go back at some point and put the date on that just because I want, it's just my naming convention and I don't have it off the top of my head. I'm going to pull those now into that folder. Now I can go back to social media. This is now a file folder that I can delete. So I will get rid of that. Then I want to show you one more thing before we sync this. Let's say I want to go back and I want to find any conflict files. And what we're going to do here is we're going to search for conflict files. And those of you who have a super note will know that you do get conflict files occasionally when you are working with different file types. And with the sync process, rather than delete a file or overwrite a file, if there's any confusion as to a slight difference in size or just anything that it's not 100% sure which file was last accessed, Supernote will create the conflict and then you can go in manually and fix that. So here's what that would look like. I specifically left these three to be fair. I only had about eight, so it wasn't bad at all considering all of the updates back and forth and them having to put things back. And what I can do here is I can right click and I can go to file location and then I can see, okay, this note is exactly the same note as this note. They're virtually the same size. The one that's not the conflict is actually a little bit larger, which to me means it should continue contain more data. If I wanted to be really diligent, I can always go back into the device, open these up and compare them. But I've already done that off, off camera and I'm just going to show you what I do now. And I go ahead and delete that. It's now gone. I go back. I have two more to deal with. So I will find this one, open in file location. Again, there is the PDF conflict. 
you'll see that this is the mark file. So you're looking again, a little bit more data in the file that's retained. So I'll go ahead and delete that. And then I, I will go back and this one's actually the last one on the list. You'll see that it's right here. They're exactly the same size. Instead of going back, I'll go ahead and take care of it while I'm here. Delete. Now, if I go back, there are no more conflict files. There's no more having to go through the device to do it. There's no more having to go to the Supernode cloud and its interface is something they're still working on. This is much more seamless and much quicker. So now we've made all of those changes. And so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and sync this up to the cloud. We'll go ahead and I will sync. And we'll give that just a little bit to go ahead and do its thing. And for the record here, I'll probably speed the film up a little bit here, but also I have turned off the auto syncing for now. I turned that back on at work and it worked perfectly fine, uh, but I haven't done that on the desktop at home yet because I still want to make sure that absolutely everything is the way it should be before I re-enable that. And I've synced several times and everything is working as expected. I'm just a little bit cautious as I usually am. Now what we can do is we can go to the Supernote Cloud. Now here in the Supernote Cloud app, you'll see that the live is gone. So it used to say live here, that's been removed. If we go into YouTube and we go to live streams, now you see that it's been created. We have the live demo we already had. We have the super note three years later. It's right here. And in case you're wondering, I hadn't gotten around to renaming this yet, uh, but it's the, <laughs> the graphic or the little writing I did for that. Uh, but it's all right there. So I reorganized all of that in Windows Explorer. And then when I sync it, it automatically updates through the app. So without having to interface with the apps, I managed all of that on my PC. That's really an interesting and cool way to be able to do this. And then when you add in the fact that we can then pull those files into Obsidian, which is another video that I'll go ahead and link above, then you get really this, you're not even working in the apps for a lot of your process. So from an organizational perspective, you're really streamlining the way you have to go about doing things. You don't have to upload into the app, whether it's through the web or through the desktop. The desktop is drop and drag, but if you can do all of that by opening two Windows Explorer apps and just moving things around, it's much more seamless. Those duplicate folders I told you about earlier, easily corrected because I could just double check the folder structure. If there's something missing, pull it over into the other one, delete the extra folders. All from Windows Explorer it took me way less time than it otherwise would have. I've shown you what it looks like on the desktop. I've shown you what it looks like uh, here on the Supernote cloud. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like on the devices and that the sync worked effectively. Now this I may speed up on camera because as most of you know, the Supernote does not sync quite as fast. The Nomad is faster, but, and I have synced these a couple times today, so it may be a little bit quicker but I don't want to just, you know, take this whole time because I have to sync both devices, but I want to show you in real time how those, um, how those file structures change. And then that way you'll be able to see it. So I may speed up the film, but I will let you know how long that actually took for each device as well.